What's up everyone? Hawaii Cali Vegas. I'm Shane and today I'm going to be replacing the hood, headlights and grill to Brocoa. I've got uh, a new I got a new hood, headlights and grill that I'm going to be putting on. This is an 05, 05 to 2011 was all the same. 2012 to 2015 they changed the uh, the headlights, hood and grill and bumper. I'm going to be taking off this bumper and uh, be going with an off-road tubular bumper eventually. So I've got the hood, headlights, and grill. So I'm gonna be putting that on today. Been waiting for this for a long time. <sighs> Let's get started. As you can tell, the truck is not a virgin. It's been molested quite a bit. Um, so I know that some of the stuff that should be on there to hold everything on more than likely will not be. So. Um, this should be interesting. All right, so first off, you'll notice since I have the uh, fiberglass fenders, the hardware is not the way it's supposed to be. Um, I was messing around with this a little bit last night, um, and the grill just kind of pops right up on its own. It looks, it looks to be held on by eh, maybe like two bolts. It's only held on by two bolts, I'm assuming. And they're not even the right size. All right, so I'm assuming what should have been there should have been a 10 to 10 millimeter. Uh, it looks like these ones are eight millimeter. <sighs> Don't mind my, my messy toolbox. It works. That. So there's some brackets that hold, um, or that are different from the 2005 to 11 compared to the 2012 to 15. Um, when I was at the dealership doing some research, found out that some well I need new shit anyway um, found out that some of this stuff is not more than likely not gonna be needed because those brackets are for holding on the bumper and since I'm gonna be running a tubular bumper I don't need those brackets. Cross my fingers. Hopefully. Man, that sun is fucking hot. What the fuck? What is that? When the winters are like in the 30s, which again is not that cold, but if you consider the swing in temperature here, or the range of temperature difference. 30, really? Well, that was easy. All right. Um, I've never done this before. <laughs> so, uh, you're gonna be learning with me. Grill off. Then we're gonna pull off these things which were double-sided taped on at least they put clips back in instead of zip ties it's already my truck's already beat up but um, so I would I would uh, go to say this thing is pretty ugly Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Who needs a ratchet when people just don't tighten it all the way? These headlights and grill and hood are gonna be sale by the way. Um, after I'm done with all of this. But yeah, so these brackets are the ones that I was talking about. Um, they're different on a 2015 here. And then there's brackets that go all along here. Uh, 
they're different from the 2015 to, to uh, like the 05. So the headlight was held on by two bolts. <sighs> Halos are not my thing. Shitty wiring is more not my thing. Don't fall. Yes. I hate shitty wiring, unnecessary wiring, and shitty work. Try and pull off the bumper. Derek, I know you said you wanted the fog lights. Uh, I might bust this fucking thing. One of the shitty things about getting somebody else's project, there's a lot of pros and cons to getting other people's projects. The pros, these pros, people get everybody. Um, the pros is that you get to find like change and shit. And, and see what kind of stuff they left or lost in their vehicles. The cons, if they've worked on a vehicle before, or if they worked on the vehicle, a lot of people don't use the right shit. I mean, there's a sheet metal screw, lag bolts. So when you're trying to get, when you're trying to take something apart, you just gotta figure out what the hell they used. And then, Unfuck it. So if you guys watched my my mirror review or my mirror install, I said don't reach around, reach over because reaching around is gay. Now I'm like eating my own words. Fuck. This isn't even a fucking like just nut. It's a bracket with a nut welded on it. Electrical tape is a um, tall tale sign of bad wiring jobs. Or Shitty maintenance, shady maintenance. Unless it's for like an emergency or something like that. Electrical tape is a no-no. All that bracket work that I was talking about earlier, that the 15 and the, the five have different, is this right here. So all of this stuff is what holds the bumper on. I thought it was to hold the headlights and um, everybody that has done this conversion um, all say that you need this, but I'm not running um, a factory bumper. If you guys are watching this, you probably already have a Tacoma or already know the differences in between the two headlights between an 05 and 11 to a 12 and 15. But if you don't and you're watching anyway, this is the difference. The outer corners should be the same. The mounting points should still be the same, but the difference is here and here. So it should still mount up the same here, here, and here. And of course the grill is gonna go here. And because of that grill is why you need the hood because the hood, um, the grill shape I think is actually wider where the little beveled part is on the hood. It's actually wider. So that's why you need the grill and the hood. You can't just change out the headlights. Ah, oh, you fucking electrical tape. See, that's why this, this shit sucks. I hope everything lines up. 
it's not working out so great. So just for shits and giggles, I decided to try on the driver's side headlight um, to see if I was doing something wrong or if it indeed does not fit, which it was supposed to. The driver's side pretty much went right in and uh, the passenger side still is fighting me. I'm gonna win. It's just a matter of how long it'll take before I, I win. All right, so I think I found out the problem. Um, compared to the driver's side, this one has a lot more fiberglass right here. It's a lot thicker. And the other one is a lot thinner. And I think that the headlight is grinding or is uh, rubbing up against that. So I'm gonna take the old Dremel and cut that shit. Remember, see, first. It's a nice. Oh, so this is where we're at so far. I got the headlight there. There was a big old gap here. Um, align the grill with the headlight inside of here, putting these little pot rivet thingies um, on both sides. And uh, same thing on this. I went ahead and just tightened it down and let the bolt pull everything into place. You can see right here, that big old bracket that holds the bumper on. Um, this is gonna be kind of an eyesore, but we'll see. Hopefully a bumper will cover it up very nicely. A uh, tubular bumper. Just now you can all push it. I broke a nail. We figured out why the hood wasn't closing. All I did was butcher the hell out of the holes in the latch. I don't know if this latch is different from the 2015. Some people say you need to use it. Um, I haven't seen anybody say that you don't need to use it, but I just decided to oblong the hell out of that hole. A little bit out of that one. This one down here at the bottom, um, was oblonged enough to where I could just lift the latch up as high as it could go. The hood, the grill, and the headlights are on. Everything works, we just tried them all out. Um, it needs to be aligned, but um, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys on the next one.